Hey guys, even here and in this video we got the final updates of bodybuilders hours before the prejudging. Classic physique is gonna start like an hour after I post this video and open is like six hours after that. So very very soon, very soon and in this video we got some interesting updates before the show starts. So let's check it out. First of all, we got a full video of Samson posing at the MPC headquarters at that infamous spot with like the worst lighting in the world and so we're gonna take a look at this first but guys please keep in mind this lighting is gonna make Samson look much much smoother than he really is but yeah basically this is what Samson looks like at around one week out of this show Today he's probably drier and like fuller and harder, but not much. Here you can see basically what he's bringing to the stage and I think he is bringing really good conditioning for Samson. Something similar to what he brought to the Arnold Classic last year, maybe a little bit drier, but he seems improved honestly, like the back, look at it. It looks better, lats look more prominent, wider, I think his shoulders are better than arms as well. And I think his glutes are showing more separation than ever before. I mean, look at this from the side, especially. Like, I don't think his lower body from behind was ever this dry. His midsection also looks very dry, very separated. Uh, quads as well. I think Samson is bringing it. Once again, this lighting here is gonna make everyone look much smoother than they really are, but you can kind of see clearly. It is very good lighting to analyze a physique, it's a good lighting for a coaching update. If you send this to your coach, you can basically see every square inch of your body and they can analyze exactly what is happening, so we can do that in this video, but as far as what Samson is gonna look like on that stage, you can't really get the impression from this video, but you can see what he improved, what he didn't improve, and you can see what kind of condition he's bringing, and I can see like his skin looks thinner than usual. I think he's showing more separation than ever before. And also, I actually believe he made improvements. I know how crazy it sounds, he didn't have a lot of time to make improvements, but I think he managed. I don't understand it, you don't see this very often, but I guess this guy is a genetic anomaly, he just keeps progressing month after month, literally. So here, I think his shoulders were never this, this wide in the side shots. And his arms, especially triceps. I don't think he ever had this much width in the, in the arm and the shoulder. I think it is very noticeable in other poses as well. We're gonna see on stage how much of it is actually true, but I think once he is carved up, once he's dried out, pumped up, oiled up and everything, ready for the stage, I think those changes are gonna be even more noticeable. If they're visible here, I mean, come on. And also the glutes in the side shots, I think he's showing more separation, deeper separation, top to bottom. There is another thing that I think Samson improved a lot, and that's his posing. Look at his back relax shot. I don't think he ever looked this good in this back relaxed. I said it before, I'm gonna say it again, his lats are improved. I don't remember seeing his lats like this in a back relax shot. Really, like he has more pop right now than ever before. And the separation between the lats and the erectors, I don't think that line was ever this visible. And again, this lighting is gonna make you lose all your lines. However, you can see it here, which tells me Samson is bringing something really, really good. And I'm really firmly sticking with my prediction. I'm pretty sure this guy is winning the Arnold Classic. Once again, back is improved, shoulders, arms, posing. And I also believe glutes and hamstrings are showing more detail, more separation. Just overall, his skin somehow looks thinner. I don't know if it's just the conditioning. I don't know if he just got leaner. It could be that. It could be that his conditioning is simply better. But it could also be, you know, the age. His physique is maturing. His skin is getting thinner with age. Or it could be, and it most likely is, a combination of those two things but one thing is for sure, Samson is bringing something ridiculous to this stage. And I am well aware how good Hardy is. Last year for the Mr. Olympia, I was cheering for Samson. I know it wasn't very realistic to go from 6th to 1st, but this time around, I mean, Hardy beat him only by one spot, so... 
anything is possible, guys. Like, this is not something crazy to say that Samson is gonna win. I think it's most likely to happen. I really, really believe it. Even though he didn't beat Hadi last year, I think this guy is the favorite to win the Arnold Classic to defend his title. In six hours or so, we're gonna see this guy on stage compared to Hadi. If you guys wanna hear my thoughts on it, just click that subscribe button. You're gonna see a video right after the prejudging. Maybe we don't know the order of the top two, but we know who's gonna be in the top two. As far as the third, fourth, fifth, we really have no idea what's gonna happen. Personally, I still have Rafael Brandau in that third, and we got a little physique update from him. Uh, it's not the best quality, I'm gonna show you in a second. We got this little video as well. So, you know, he looks dry, right? I think Neil Hill really got him just conditioned enough without sacrificing any muscle. And it's really hard to accomplish that. I think Chris Asito wasn't able to do that. I think Neil Hill did that. I think Rafael is gonna be just conditioned enough. He's not gonna be like super duper shredded. He's gonna be lean enough, but very hard, very full, bigger than ever. Exactly how much bigger? 20 pounds bigger, actually, guys. 20 pounds bigger, not 15, not 10 pounds. He measured his weight the day before the show, compared it to the last time he competed when he placed 10th at the Mr. Olympia. He's 20 pounds heavier right now. That's a lot, guys. That is a lot of muscle, especially on that level. If you're top 10 at the Mr. Olympia and you suddenly gain 10, actually 20 pounds of muscle, 10 kilos, and you look like this, with this kind of condition, check this out. I mean, how can this guy place lower than third? I know it's really hard to say that he can battle against Samson and Hadi because those guys are just, I don't know, they're, they're too incredible. They're just really crazy. Rafael is awesome, but is he like one of the freakiest bodybuilders today? No, no, Hadi and Samson are. But, but, as far as everybody else, I think it can go so many different ways. I had Horse MD in Ford, but I have to change that. I think I have James Hollins here now in Ford battling against Rafa for that third. I think that's more realistic because James right now is like bigger than ever with like very, very good condition, potentially his best conditioning ever. So, you know, he's gonna be a mass monster. He's like 275 or something, you know, that's really big. But, you know, Rafa has those freaking perfect lines. God, look at this. I mean, look at this, guys. This is like classic physique but just much, much bigger, much bigger, not like a little bit bigger, this guy could never make the weight for classic physique, he is big enough for the open, but he looks like a classy guy, I mean, this doesn't look less aesthetic than freaking Chris Bumstead in, in the most muscular, really, look at this, tell me what is not aesthetic about this physique, you can't find a single thing, and this is Arnold Classic, they're really appreciating the lines, so, and also he's 20 pounds heavier now, so, I mean, yeah, like, I have to have this guy in third. But, I don't know, maybe you're seeing something I'm not seeing. If that's the case, then tell me about it down below. Or, if you are as amazed as I am, you can comment that as well. Whatever is on your mind, tell me down below. Now, this guy right here is the dark horse. The wild card. John De La Rosa. I think this guy could surprise and crack the top five. I think it is fairly possible that this guy can, like, take Horse MD out. It looks like this is the best version of John De La Rosa ever. For sure, the best conditioning. Check out the glutes, the hamstrings, the lower back, and just the size of the back. Like, he's gonna destroy Horse MD in the back double bicep. And I actually think he's gonna destroy James Hollins here as well in the back double. Probably Rafael Brandau as well. I think this guy has a really good back. The other three guys I just mentioned don't really... They don't really have this big and wide lats. The problem with John, however, is his lower body, if you ask me. His quads, his legs just don't really match his upper body. His quads from the front and just his legs from behind as well. They don't really look that big, you know. And also they're kind of shorter. So I would like to see more, more, more sweep to the side. I mean, the back is phenomenal and like everything from the front, from the sides. From the sides, he can hide the size of the legs, but from behind and from the front, you can definitely see that his thighs are just not massive enough, not round enough. They are not popping out enough, and in the middle, they're not thick enough. Here's from the front. So, like I said, legs. Legs are an issue. 
upper body is really phenomenal but all things considered this guy you know in my opinion is probably gonna be right out of top five probably it's probably gonna be between him and Akeem Williams for that sixth that's the way I see it right now but yeah one thing is for sure John is bringing the best shape of his life the best conditioning for sure all right the next thing is very interesting it happened at the amateur part of the Arnold Classic this was bodybuilding, I think this was a uh, light heavyweight division, I'm not sure exactly which division, but it was bodybuilding and this guy did not win, not even his weight class, somehow he ended up second to last with this kind of shape, with this kind of genetics, with this kind of conditioning and everybody is just like, wow, what happened? How is this even possible? Look at this guy, how freaky is he looking? I guess it would make sense if the winner was so much bigger than him, but really nobody at this Iron Classic Amateur was a mass monster. The winner was the champion of the uh, heavyweight, super heavyweight category actually, but you know he wasn't really in the best condition. I mean, look at his glutes and hamstrings and compare it to the other guy. I mean, just lower body. Also the back. I mean, also the arms, everything really how this happened why did this happen i mean look at the shape look at the genetics that this guy has i think there is a bright future ahead of this guy the only explanation i guess would be that he was too small that he is like for classic physique maybe the judges wanted to send him a message to tell him you should do the classic physique you're too small for the open or just grow more muscle before you come back to the open but even like this guys even with this size i think he deserved to be the overall winner here i mean it's like if chris bumster competed in the open like i guess literally everybody in the open olympia for example is bigger than chris but with his shape with his structure with his details and conditioning would he place that last or would he place somewhere in the middle or even at the top of the mr olympia in the open well i guess the judging of this show kind of proves that he wouldn't do that well because this guy whose name is i'm probably gonna butcher this ali tain Nevo. He had amazing, crazy genetics, crazy shape, crazy ridiculous proportions and super insane conditioning and he placed second to last at this show and the other guys weren't even really that big, they weren't much bigger than him, they are a little bit bigger and I guess that was enough to, to put this guy almost to the last place even though he's as ridiculous as he is so yeah i hope this guy is gonna continue you know and maybe lower the weight and do the classic if it is possible but i don't know if it's possible because he still has i think too much muscle for classic i guess i hope he's gonna just build more muscle get bigger and maintain this kind of shape <laughs> these kind of lines look at this look at this damn look at his back shot what the hell what the hell is this guy wow wow this is insane if he brings a little bit bigger physique and with his shape with his conditioning <laughs> this guy is going places we also got a little physique update of the classic physique guys urs and ramon and honestly i'm really disappointed at these guys they didn't show anything this entire prep and now they're posting stuff a day before the show like what is the point of doing it now like you should do it early to make some kind of a hype you know to make this thing more interesting because bodybuilding is happening on social media it's not happening like two shows in a year you know mr olympian Arnold classic and a couple of other shows no it's happening every day on youtube on instagram and it's really awesome when you see these guys post stuff so we can talk about something but yeah i guess they didn't want to do that they wanted to stay low-key maybe they didn't like the attention or the pressure whatever you know it's their personal decision they can do whatever the hell they want but i don't like it here we see what Urs is looking, he's very flat right here, I think he's gonna carve up and just get much bigger and fuller. I'm a fan of Urs, definitely more so than Ramon, not when he's flat like this, this is not looking very good, but when he is full, he looks good. Not of his personality, but of his physique, really, I'm not talking about personality, yeah, I like his personality, he speaks English, unlike Ramon, so we can definitely make a better connection with him, but I also like his physique, it's kind of, you know, more unique it's very interesting you could say it's it's very classic as well but uh, some people say sometimes that i'm biased like the word samson i'm not because i'm a fan of worse and i'm pretty sure ramon is winning this like i can't see worse beating ramon because ramon just looks incredible in this in these shots right here i mean just like uh, worse he didn't show anything until the day of the show basically 
so we can see what he looks like right now one day out or the day of the show but it would have been better if he posted more stuff during the prep on instagram or physique updates it is what it is we can see what he looks like right now and yeah i think he's got this in the bag i don't think it's gonna be an awesome battle between these two guys but yeah i still have ramon winning because he's too complete you really can't find a flaw on this guy i mean he's just amazing and he's bringing really good conditioning just like course as well so it's gonna be a great show guys please once again stay tuned the best coverage on youtube right here on this channel like this video if you enjoyed it and for more stuff once again stay here subscribe thanks guys see you very soon all the best and bye bye